Hello everybody. You're here to find your voice and we're here today to build a website. The purpose of this website is to create voicedrycleaner.com with a brand new web interface so any dry cleaner in the world can jump on and quickly add themselves on Amazon Alexa 100% free. So um, first thing I'm going to do is find a template because uh, rather than starting from square one I, I think for what I'm doing I would prefer to stand on the shoulders of giants instead of recreating the wheel. I'm liking this one. It focuses on the dashboard and data which I think we want to allow dry cleaners to focus on data and it looks like we can already just grab a lot of this to be able to do the creation super simple um, but I'll, I'll keep looking I don't just want to get the first and best thing I'm gonna grab a couple more options okay and now I've looked up material UI templates on Google and it's taking me to a sublink getting started templates and I think I want example projects I like this one a lot. I like the wave. Ooh, and this little animation of it popping out. This is... This one makes me very happy. Alright, really didn't find anything else that I liked, so I'm, I'm toggling between this one, which is focused on the dashboard view, and I like that because it'll focus on analytics. And this waver, more for design, I really like this this wave right here as well as some of the animations of loading and honestly I just like the landing page of this I would love to combine the two of these to take waivers landing page as well as this kind of navigation of data and mash them together so you know what I think I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna see if I can combine them both together and just kinda place the components in different routes I'm gonna get started with this landing page because this landing page is uh, what makes sense download from github I do not own the music content playing in the background it is Akira the Don, Naval Ravikant the album How to Get Rich Volume 1 and I, I enjoy brainwashing myself with it so we'll clone this repository um, ls cd projects ls um, this will be inside of voice dry cleaner dry cleaner Okay, so now we have Voice Dry Cleaner website, CD Voice Dry Cleaner website, um, Git status. I think this is actually its own Git repository, so I don't want to put a Git repository inside of an existing one. LS, I'm going to make a new directory, Voice Dry Cleaner um, website v2, CD web git clone paste the github repository link that will clone the git repository because it's public thank you open source that's why we're making this video we're gonna keep everything open source we should I might fork this repository but I'll probably end up just creating a new repository for this so if you're interested in getting the source code this will be publicly hosted mm. if you have some water please take a drink and if you don't have water I highly recommend getting some warm water, maybe throwing some spices into it. Some lemon. And drinking some water. Alright, so it is cloned. Let's check where we're at. Let's go to React SAS template, LS. We have a public directory. This is all perfect. So I should be able to go npm i, npm install, and that's going to read all of the package.json information around Node.js and it's installing all those packages. So I'll run ls, the same command I ran, but you'll see after we're done installing, we will have an additional folder called node modules. Take a deep breath. Breathe in new energy. Breathe out stale air. node packages are done running we should be able to run npm run start and it should run our local server looks like it is bam and now I have this website running locally so my very next thing I'm going to try to do is host and deploy this on firebase first thing I'm gonna do is install firebase tools with npm install g firebase tools 
if you already have it, this will just update your version, and if you don't have it, this will install the tools we need to use the Firebase command line interface. Now we have oh, now we have a node modules folder. Um, that's funny. I just realized we already did that. So uh, we just installed Firebase tools. Next, we want to log into Firebase with the command Firebase login. I'm already logged into Voice First at Gmail. All right. Now I literally just installed this right here so I don't know why it's telling me it told me it updated it all so I don't know um, why it thinks I'm behind but ignoring that next step is um, next step is to run Firebase init to initialize the hosting so you'll use the arrow keys to navigate up and down spacebar will select and then enter and really quickly I'm gonna go to Firebase and actually set up the um, place I would like to have the login signed in all right I'm going to add a project voice dry cleaner hey and nobody owns it so we're gonna get voice dry cleaner for free thank you Google um, yeah let's add Google Analytics to voice dry cleaner done so voice dry cleaner will get started just kind of skip through this cuz I already know how to do this Bam, now we get this cool domain, voicedrycleaner.web.app. We will add voicedrycleaner.com eventually, but we already have code hosted at voicedrycleaner.com. That's not the right place. Ignore the bad formatting. This is where we were supposed to go. So we do already have a website, but um, we're just we're ready for a fresh start. This is all just normal HTML, CSS, JavaScript. We're going to be updating the React. We're going to be adding in a new feature. Really just we're redesigning the platform, so we decided to start from square one. So going back to our command line, we can use an existing project, and now it should. We, I, we have a lot of projects, so let's see if it populates. Cool, so it's asking me for the project ID. I will find that by going into settings, and then project settings I'm not gonna show, even though I'm probably, oh, I, I believe it's voice dry cleaner, to be honest. I, don't, I, think it's, I think I can grab this from right here. Uh, do I wanna use the public directory? For us, because we're using React, we actually want our build tab. Yes, the next one, we do want to rewrite all URLs to .index.html, and bam, we're good. So now, I'm going to run npm run build. This is going to create a production build of the website inside of our build folder, which is what Firebase is looking at to deploy. Cool, we have completed, so now we just run Firebase deploy. Uh, I prefer to throw this in just because I use it a lot, so just to make sure that I'm only deploying what I want instead of also deploying Firebase functions or Firebase storage or any anything else that you might have. I always just add this on. Uh, it will also work if you just run Firebase deploy. It's the same same kind of mentality as when you're running git add. Some people will always run git add dot and they'll just add everything. I prefer to specify each file intentionally. That way, I, do, I think we should as developers and as engineers and as builders be intentional of what we're creating especially when we're dealing with software and we're setting up robots that are going to continue to do a task over and over we should be very intentional about our creations we have got complete so we'll click on that link and BAM now we're hosted so you can go to this website you can see that we already got the green lock voice dry cleaner dot web dot app here's our template so uh, you can go ahead and view this. If you're watching this video, this is a live website and you can visit here and we may have changed it by now. We will almost definitely have changed it by now, but this domain is live and you just saw us create it. Next step is to create the Git repository I'm gonna store everything in and I'm gonna at this point try to abstract out anything that I want to hide from the public view. We wanna make this open source, but one key aspect of open source is making sure that the data, which our users and customers are trusting us with, are not compromised because uh, dry cleaners are businesses that have proprietary data so we want to make sure that data in the database is protected so I'm gonna go ahead and obfuscate that and then I'll jump back in to start creating the repository on github so honestly I, th I think we're good I, I think everything that Firebase is using that's private is all associated with my command line so I'm gonna go ahead and create the git repository so we started on github now I'm gonna sign in and I'm gonna create a repository instead of using theirs github at voice first tech create a new repository repository is voice dry cleaner 
website uh, description voice dry cleaner website v2 and we will make the URL voice dry cleaner web dot app I think that's an option um, I'm just gonna paste that that way anybody can see it make it public BAM committing to open source and we want to push an existing repository so we'll add the origin okay so I want to remove an ex um, I need to figure out how to remove uploading an existing creating a new file change change git remote origin get remote set URL okay set URL BAM okay so get remote dash V alright we're going to github at voice first AI that's all perfect so now let's run git push origin master and we're pushing we have deployed so now we'll check it out over here let's go back um, it might just be here yeah let me refresh refreshing we have our repository Wow ooh shiny okay so next up we're going to merge in the next git repo so this material dashboard we now want to get um, so let's go back to store and let's go back to the free material dashboard pardon me and let's do free download I uh, I think I already have got Google creative Tim is a very I love the creative Tim service I think it's a very genius business model all right give me that download cool we got the download github repo I think I would prefer the git hub actually not sure which I would prefer wow there's a lot more in here in terms of like we got a gulp file we got a js config um, how do we get started with this quick start npm i material that wow that is super simple material dashboard react will this will that actually work will that create everything I need an npm command uh, Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna clone and I'm gonna merge more intentionally. Uh, I have already downloaded the repo, so let's extract this into projects. Voice dry cleaner inside website v2. We're gonna throw this. Uh, we're just gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it uh, Tim's Creative Dashboard. extract show me the files okay so let's show any hidden files because I'm sure there's bunches uh, there's a couple and now I'm gonna try to m um, intentionally merge these together I don't think I necessarily need the documentation but I and I honestly don't even need the public because public folder is just index.html which I should be able to do I really just want the components layouts and views so let's go inside of SRC okay this we can just add these components folder in because it doesn't exist same with this 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 and this nice okay boom pasted and then I guess there's a logo.svg file we'll put that over here routes.js does not exist I'm, I'm curious what's inside of routes.js let's find out um, src routes.js oh my goodness okay so this is a they got a whole I don't even know what this is ok 
Okay. This this looks right. This looks like this looks very familiar. This is admin stuff. What is this? Admin, admin, RTL, RTL. Admin dashboard. Are we even control shift F routes? That's a lot. That's not helpful. Um, where are we refer I'm curious of what this routes file is and where we reference it. Um, forward slash dashboard. It's like this is an extension of index.js. And I'm not entirely sure what gulp is. What does gulp do? Let me, let me continue to seek to understand. What is gulp? Gulp.js. Automate and enhance your workflow. Flexibility, automate slow repetitive workflows, compose them efficient, efficiently. All right. Mm. All right. So let me let me run a simple test. What I would like to do is I would like to add a route, which won't be here. It'll be an src index.js. No, app.js. Here we are. Okay. So I would like to add a new route at a different path. So let's add a route. Um, we'll copy this because it already has a path to find. And let's make this one forward slash Tim. And Tim will be, so how is Tim using it in his routes? Components, okay, index. Got it. So component equals admin. I like this better. I like this declaration curious why curious of the difference I'm curious of the differences right now I'm very curious of the differences all right so admin is defined boom layouts admin bam and now we got layouts which is right there and then it will grab admin JS all right let's save this and run it and see what happens if we go to this path npm run start all right and as we woo all right as we can see over here logged out component is just nothing and then we have a logged in component with is which is path forward slash c can't resolve layouts admin inside of the src folder inside of the src folder you don't know about layouts forward slash admin dot js but it's right there what you talking about can't resolve layouts admin dot js module not found inside of app js we are getting a component of admin from maybe i'll try dot slash issue the dot slash cannot resolve okay so we are now making progress cannot resolve assets image react logo react uh, layouts okay assets 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 um, all right it seems like I will need to add in this dot slash I'm not sure why but it, it seems as though it seems as though this is the case we'll find out right now Control find react logo.png. All right, admin.js. Yeah, it well that this isn't correct. It should be dot 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 dot. Um, can't resolve assets JSS inside of layouts. Okay, let's look up JSS. Material layout admin stuff. What? What are you talking about? You can't find this. Module not found. Okay. Here's another thing I have not done. I have not merged the. Um, I have not merged the package.json. So let's do that now. Let's check out. Um, holy cow, there's a lot of modules. I wonder what the best way is to merge two templates. Is this is this a strongly discouraged practice? 
or what is the best way. So we've got this one and let's click on it so that it solidifies itself. Now I'm going to go to, um, you gotta get paid at scale. Okay, so now we got both of these. So can I, can I side by side? Ooh, there we go. We're making progress. All right. We have material UI core, material UI core, um, icons. We got icons, uh, chartist. I do not have Chartist, so I'm going to take Chartist, put it in the C's, right here, boop. What happened to the music, Google? Hey Google, resume music. Class names we have, history we do not have. Um, okay Google, play the album um, The Path by Akira the Don. Okay, Google, play The Path by Akira the Don. Okay, Google, play the album The Path by Akira the Don. Perfect scroll bar. We'll take this perfect scroll bar. Okay, Google, play the album The Path by Akira the Don. Alright, whatever. React Chartist. We need React Chartist. React Dom. We already have React Dom. React Google Maps. We need that. Spoiler alert, discipline equals freedom. React scripts, react swipeable views. Equals freedom, equals freedom, equals freedom, equals freedom. freedom, equals freedom. Equals freedom, equals freedom. Repository, keywords, okay. I. Um, I don't know what we would be doing with browsers list. I'm I'm not sure what these remaining things are. Um, I want to be intentional, but I don't understand them. Um, okay, so we do have the same browsers list. We already have that over here. Let's let's take small steps. We've done this. Let's install these missing packages. npm i. Let's see what happens if I run npmi material dashboard react. Let's see what you do. Very curious. Shouts out to the year 2020, the year the pandemic happened. So uh, let's go ahead and try running it again and see if that fixed anything. Hey, well, I guess we've already seen this. The question is, can we actually get it to start without crashing? Okay, so we're not resolving this asset inside of layouts. Um, can't resolve assets, JSS, material dashboard, React JS. Ha ha, ha ha, okay. Okay, so where is assets? Assets is all the way. What are we, what are, what? Okay, so we can't, cannot find assets, JSS, material dashboard, assets, j material dashboard, react.js. Material dashboard, react.js. Okay, so I think we just want to go. It's very weird how all these are like out of, they're, they're not linked properly. I wonder why that is. I think we want to go out one, maybe two folders. So let's just go dot dot, dot dot. Okay, cannot, there we, we're making progress. React test templates, SRC layouts. Control find fixed plugin.js. Okay, all right. Um, I'm sure this is dot dot slash. Nope, that wasn't right. Well, if you're watching this, hopefully you're not doing this, but you have already. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing where now routes is being referenced from admin. 
All right, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy those routes over. I see where it's being referenced from now, or at least I see one place it's being referenced from. Boom, we got routes in there. And we've added in these dot dots. Can't resolve assets from components fixed plugin. Components, where's fixed plugin? We gotta add all these dot dots. I'm gonna hold off, I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm gonna stop the recording and just do all of this because I feel like this is gonna happen a few times. All right, so we have some progress. We have some progress and then less of other progress. Looks like we were able to at least get, <laughs> looks like a lot of this style stuff is not loading yet. So there's probably, prop children is marked as required, but it's values undefined. Uh, this is in index.js1, is it? Admin, admin, okay, okay, admin, navbar.js. Uh, there's a lot of things here. Hmm. There's something off about it, and I think at this point I would like to go and watch um, the sunset, so I would like to make this kind of quick. Let's go to here. And then let's, what, where does login take us? Okay, so login has a thing. Let's go into SRC. Let's go to blah, 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 login components main. Wow, 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 lots of things here. Lazy loading balanced dialogue nav bar consecutive snack bar messages uh, control find email is what's what is I feel like this stuff is so freaking complex not logged in okay I want the actual login let's go to just app.js logged in component logged out component we were looking at the logged out component we're looking out the navigation navbar and now we clicked login which will open the login dialog and that is passed in as a prop type name is login One, okay. Where is it? <laughs> All right, I found it. I have found it. I would like to change this up to use Firebase login. So let's go Firebase login react. Component npm react with Firebase auth. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Bam, 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 bam. Yep give me all that okay so I want to save this control C shift insert we're saving Firebase admin and now we will want to import Firebase Firebase auth wow there's okay then use it in your components so we'll just copy all of this Firebase related stuff And we'll put all this inside of our login dialog. All right, let's see what I'm sure there's going to be an issue. Let's try npm run start. Can't resolve Firebase config. Roger. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new Firebase. Well, let's let's see what it's expecting. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna grab my Firebase config and I'm gonna turn this off real quick. That way I can do that. I'm gonna stop it here for tonight. I, uh, I've been trying to go a little too hard and I'm, I'm just gonna back off and sleep on this. The next step I would like to implement is getting this login to be Firebase login instead of uh, this email password login. So that will be my next goal for tomorrow, but today we were able to download a material UI sample, get it running as well as hosted on um, Firebase, oh, oh, voice dry cleaner web dot app hosted publicly, 100% free with HTTPS. We got that green lock. So thanks for tuning in.